Yeah, about um, goods and services. How do you decide uh, what goods and services will be produced in in the system How that you How do you decide propose? what goods and services will be produced? Okay. If you live in Florida, you don't need winter underwear. It depends on where people live. If 4,000 people live in Arizona, that's the amount of clothing you have to supply. If you have a ship company, and you've got 5,000 passengers, that tells you how many cooks you need, how much water you need for showers and baths. You can get that statistic. No ship company says, I think I'll put four gallons there. They do a statistical study. They don't, if you have an airplane that carries 400 passengers, that tells you how much food you need, how much water you need. Nobody says, well, if you ask me, I think I'll put in four gallons of water. Well, I was thinking more along... Statistical mechanics yeah. decides what we do, not fresco. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you have a state with 40,000 people in it, but the state has enough land to feed 20,000, you'll have to move most of them out of that state. It has to be... Everything has to be in accordance with the carrying capacity of the environment. Do you know what that means? Yeah. No means no one makes decisions except the survey committee. The survey committee doesn't make decisions, but tells you what we have and what we don't have. I was thinking more about personal preferences. When when you like, let's say you like personal preference. Yeah, yeah. I think I can well, answer that. Okay. If you live in the Venus Project cities, you have like four thousand options to choose from. If you live on your own, you have seven. Well, so you'll, most you'll, people you'll get feedback. Want to live in the city. You'll get, you can take flying lessons if you live in the city. Okay. You can study medicine, go back to school, concert halls. There are exhibits every week, like a World's Fair. The city is enormously advantageous. If you don't live in the city, you have to drive to the grocery store that way. You have to drive, take your kids to the uh, to the, to the child care center and you have to go to the dentist that way, you'd be wasting a lot of your time. When you live in the city, there's everything. In the middle of the city. Dentist, schools, everything you need. You mean like... There's nothing what, in it to hurt you. Yeah, I think he means like, uh, how can we decide what one person needs if another person needs some, wants something else, right? Yeah, yeah. You mean like, yeah. But I, I think, I think the, the way we could handle that would be like, everyone could just give feedback of what they want, and then you can have stati statistics that way. That's what it's saying. So, yeah. Well, most people will not want the same thing. Yeah, exactly. They want different so things. You can, you can Somebody have to say, what are you going to do if everybody so wants to live in Florida? Everybody doesn't want to live in Florida. Some people love change of season. They like skiing, ice skating. That's why people live wherever the hell they want to live. But when a person brings that up, they've been misinformed. That everybody wants to live in the Bahamas. <coughs> Not true. Some people hate Florida. I like it. They hate the heat. I don't like the heat. So in reality, not everybody wants a Volkswagen either. A Volkswagen. So people think that what if everybody, what if two guys are in love with the same girl? In this system, you're going to have trouble. In the Venus Project, we don't, because if a girl comes to me and says she was rejected by her boyfriend. Comes crying. She was rejected by a boyfriend. And she feels terrible. So I said, Did you ever reject a guy? She says, About six, seven times. Did you ever think of the guy? So people reject you. It doesn't mean you're bad, it means you don't meet their needs. Some men are like a fat ass, some like big tits, some like small tits, blonde hair, red hair. So all these guys are different. So if a guy marries a girl, because she's competent mentally, but she has small tits. He's always looking at big tits, because he was brought up that way. Do you know what I mean? Don't get mad that the guy, that's the way he was brought up. If you understand that, you can understand he's always looking. But I told you before, on the South Seas, men never looked at a girl's body. Did I tell that to you? Yes, yeah, yeah. Not because they're good or bad. They were brought up nude, so they don't collect pictures of nude women. It's yeah. interesting. Though. You can't we, we give got, a picture of a woman.